What's wrong with VO2 max, Doc? We're looking at a marker of something we really never do. It's not a marker of how we live. How many times do you need to go 200 miles an hour in life? Like virtually never. So when we do VO2 max, think of we're measuring your horsepower, mm -hmm. how hard or fast your car can go. Let's say you had a 600 horsepower engine and you could go really, really, really fast. Now, how many miles per gallon are you getting? Not a lot. Not a lot, right? You can have, just like in a Ferrari, something that goes really, really fast, but it's spewing a lot of sure. inflammatory, yeah. oxidative products. And I know that in working with athletes. You would never mm -hmm. think about taking your car all the time and driving 120 miles an That's hour. That's a great point. Right? If not VO2 max, then tell me about the measures that you're developing that would be a better indication of health from this resilience perspective. It's not how hard you go, it's how efficient you are. You know, we're gonna go back to the car, how efficient you are at cruise, right? Can you go 75 miles per hour and get 60 miles per gallon? It's the ability to accelerate and slow down and recover, right? So can your body move fast or harder for a period of time, rest and recover, and then move hard again?